Hey everybody. You all know that I like to joke around a lot. Well, there are some things I'm serious about, and soil is one of them. If you really want to be a good gardener, you have to fully understand how to create and maintain good soil. And the best way of doing that is to develop a certain mindset. Now this might help. Think of your soil like a bank account. When you start an account, you put a sum of money in, and then you start making withdrawals. Well, if you keep making withdrawals without making deposits, that bank account is going to be depleted. Same rule follows with your soil. Another way of looking at it is your soil is also like your body. I know it sounds weird, but it's true. Body, your body is like a ecosystem, kind of like a social network. And we're all familiar with that. And it contains trillions of bacteria and microorganisms. In fact, the bacteria cells outnumber our human cells 10 to 1. That gives you a little idea of how important bacteria is to our bodies. And our body is very much like the soil. It needs pretty much the same kind of things. It needs to be nourished and taken care of. Now when we get an infection, a lot of times we take an antibiotic. The antibiotic goes in there and it kills the bad guys, but in the process it also kills a lot of the good guys. Yeah, it's true. Now we can take probiotics and eat yogurt, and that helps replenish our system so that it works properly. Now left alone, nature pretty much takes care of its own. In fact, our soil is constantly replenishing itself with fallen leaves and other tree debris, dying plants that fertilize the ground. But man unwittingly comes along and messes that process up quite a bit. We break up the leaves, stuff them into plastic bags and haul them off to the landfill instead of composting them. I don't know how we've even managed to stay alive all the years that we have with the stupid things that we do. <laughs> and nature also provides a natural covering for our soil. It grows plants and it also grows weeds. And the weeds, when they die, also fertilize the ground. But of course, man does not like weeds, so we pull them out of our garden. And there's good reason for that. A lot of the weeds will actually zap the nutrients right out of the ground. The man comes along and pulls the weeds out because, let's face it, these weeds can really crowd down our vegetables that we're trying to grow. It can even strangle them, especially this kind of weed right here, which is wire grass. It has a root system that is unbelievable, and it truly does uh, strangle out the plants that we want. So if we're taking away any of the plants that nature provides and only growing the vegetables that we want and not letting them die, decompose in the soil to give back to the soil, we have to do something. For years we try to compensate by adding chemical fertilizers and also spraying the leaves of our plants with poison. God only knows what that does to our bodies when we eat those plants sure know what it does to the soil. It actually will kill the, ouch, bug. It'll actually kill the bacteria in the soil. Nature gives us nice dirt like this. And we start pulling the weeds. And we start planting our crops. And our crops grow really well at first. But year after year, Without any plants, other plants growing in the soil and dying and decomposing, something happens to the soil. And especially if we leave it bare during the time that we're not planting, something really terrible happens. The soil that was once 
rich and full of life ends up looking like this. Year after year, wind comes and blows the top layers off and you're just left with this. And you try to grow crops in that, it's not going to happen. If this kind of neglect takes place over a long period of time, the bacteria would become so depleted that it would be very hard for this soil to even decompose organic material because it takes bacteria to create decomposition. Another function of bacteria is to form a partnership with the plants. For example, nitrogen fixing bacteria. There's a lot of things that bacteria does, but I can't go over them all in one video. But the bottom line is we need bacteria. Our bodies need it and our soil needs it. Now, how do we make deposits to the soil? Compost. So take those leaves and instead of stuffing them into plastic bags and hauling them off to the landfill, put them in your compost bin along with your grass clippings and other yard waste. And you'll have something really, really powerful to put back into the soil so that bacteria thrives and your soil's happy. And if your soil's happy, you'll be happy. This is all a mindset and I think it's a really important one. I think it's something that we all need to have to really get into our brains that we have to nourish the soil. And once you have that mindset and once you put it into practice, you're going to be a great gardener. You'll be well on your way. I hope this has helped somebody out there. Thanks for watching and God bless.